Good morning and welcome to the 5020 International between Nepal and Netherlands. The beautiful TU International Cricket Ground. It's the cricketing Saturday today. Nepal need to win this game to book their place in the finals. They have won the game against Namibia. It was the close encounter. Scott, you have won the toss. What have you decided? Uh, yeah, we're going to have a bat first. Karan running in. Balls it, hits it over the air, just cleared that fielder in the point region, rushing towards the boundary. Great effort, but did he stop it? Looks like it, a great effort from Sompal Kami. Well, this guy, he's a class, a treat to watch when he plays those cover drives and over the top shots. The dangerous man, Michael Levitt, departs and look at the celebration from the crowd. They know this importance of wicket straight into the hands of Dipendra Singh Airi. Well, Nepal are off to a flyer now. Nepal is delighted. The crowd is pumped. They have indeed taken the first wicket. The dangerous man departs for just making four runs with that boundary. It's not had that good run, but what a over for Karan Kesi. Oh, another beautiful delivery. Another wicket for Karan Kesi. Well, the February is over. It's the month of March, but this man is showing his magic. Nepal is leading from the front, pin outside edge and straight into the same pair of gloves in there for Engesu Engelbrecht departs without troubling the scorecard. Sumpal is much more faster than Karan is. Well, the slip has been removed and placed in sort mid wicket. Offered that room, just played in the back foot. There's no fielder out there. Well, Max O'Dowd would be happy. Here is Sompal Kami, made room for himself. He was chasing the batter. Nice timing, that will release the pressure. The first six of the game coming into the fourth over. And bang, she goes over the top. First six. Look at that wrist position, Kiran. Just played with that wrist. Just time the ball. It's Monty Desai, the coach. A brilliant six. This for just look at all those youngsters coming here to watch their heroes with the dream in their mind to be a cricketer in future. So Karan sprinting in, Max O'Dowd on strike. This time Max O'Dowd goes in the air and it will sail all over the boundary straight into the crowds. He was looking for that short match. He said thank you very much, look at that, bang! That ball flew forever. The second six for Netherlands. 14 of 10 deliveries, trying to build a partnership for his side. Played it with his soft hands towards the leg side. The ball's racing towards the boundary slowly and the ball wins the race. Under the circumstances, a great move by Captain Rohit Kumar Pojao. Brilliantly bold this time by Karan Kesi to break it. The crowd excited but the is not interested at all. Responded to it, Max O'Dowd, and easily home. A beautiful country surrounded by those mountains. Great shot, tried to stop that, gone past him, running towards the boundaries to Max O'Dowd. He's finding his rhythm. It's straight this time. Plenty of work to do for Sompal, and eventually the ball will win the race. Looking to go straight, he was threatening to go straight. This time it was maxed out. So the crowd, the crowd is always buzzing, always erupting. Whenever Nepal get any bit of success, oh, bold him! Pratis is already celebrating, and I, I think Edwards, Captain Edwards, will have to make his long walk back because he has been cleaned up by the young Pratis GC, and he's got the big fish. The Dutch captain cleaned up by Pratis in this fashion. Shot of length delivery didn't bounce as much as Edwards would have liked. Just kissed the top of that middle stump. Bells were flying and dancing in the air. Scott Edwards couldn't believe that he's been bowled out. They won against Namibia yesterday out of nowhere. They came back out of nowhere. Oh, bowl him again. The youngster has dislodged the stumps of Max O'Dowd. 
Pratish GC getting through the Netherlands middle order now. And a difficult stay at the center for Max O'Dowd has come to an end and his poor run of form in this series continues again. That so the gates could no longer hold. Thousands of fans who are waiting outside. Look at that inflow of the crowd. Fresh new batters in the craze. Kushal Malla is treating them with some good spin. Dancing down in the air. Another wicket perishes. That's a very sloppy shot. I must tell you, Kushal Malla does not offer that pace. Trying to play across the line. Paid the price. Top head straight in the hand of the fielder. So... Crows walk slowly back to the pavilion. Halfway of Netherlands are already back in their heart. But straight into the hands of Avinash Bora at fine leg. Oh, bold him! Two in two for Kushal Malla. This went back in straight. And Aryan Dutt has been dismissed in the very first delivery. Is this the same Dutch team that scored 247 against the Namibian side? Off she comes and up he goes. Aryan Dutt, look at that delivery. Piss over, miss the line, completely angling in. And that was a quicker one, mind you. The off stump went. And he's a skiddy customer as well, Pratis CC. Yeah! Oh, bowl him again. Three wickets. All of them dislodging the stumps. And Pratis GC, GC is having a magical run. Well, a good thing there by the youngster Pratish GC just coming round the wicket, creating that angle, bringing the ball back in to Nina, Nira Manuru. He was struggling with the ball coming back in and look at that celebration from this young man. He's delighted. He's pumped up. So, Teza Nida Manuru will have to move back to the pavilion. They played against Canada after that he was again brought back into the side. Oh, concedes a boundary in the very last ball of his spell. 20,000 is my speculation, Kiran. Easily, that was a beamer. Hammered it way up in the air. The fielder catches it. We are yet to see umpire signal. I'm very sure he, it slipped off his hand. He was aiming for that Yorker. As you can see, that's a beamer. Just three overs away from that 20 over mark. The field's wide spread. That was the reason. And this occasion, he goes big. And it is very big indeed. Much needed six. Van der Merv is showing some class with the bat. And this partnership very, very instrumental if they want to get there, up in there. Fielder underneath it. Easiest of catches. And Sompal Kami will not drop that. One too many this time for the Netherlands. They got a six in this over. They had to go and they had to go big. Gotten was committed to his shot, played it fine, just couldn't get the timing right. So first wicket for Dipendra Singh Aidi in the second over. Oh, mix up, mix up. Oh, directed. The umpire releases the finger. Another wicket for Nepal. Was a terrible mix up at the center. Yes, no, yes, no. And a direct hit means that the Dutch side have lost their ninth. That is the last thing the Netherlands team would have wanted. A direct hit. A lot of yes and no. Finally, the KK for Netherlands loses his wicket. He is indeed and he has got bags of variations under his belt. He bowls that looping delivery really well. Bloy balling that wide into the air. The fielder was running. What an effort. What a wonderful effort there by Kushal Vurtel. Take a bow, run out. The last thing Netherlands would have wanted. And courtesy to that magnificent fielding of Kushal Vurtel. Small clip will go around the internet in the next hour and it will be viral, I believe, because this was a brilliant save. Flying effort realized should go beyond the boundary, pull the ball in. Netherlands are wrapped up here. So Vivian Kingma. Breaks this tackle just. He has an average of 33.88 despite the two ducks in the previous matches. 
Oh, beautiful shot. One bounce over the fence. They had to win that match to stay alive in the tournament. Comes down the track, upishly played. Through the gap this time. Gets his first boundary. He likes going aggressive at the bowler, Kushal Burdil. Was played upishly on the rise, but through the gap. Oh, you can't bowl Kushal Burdil there. He is so good off his pads. He can smack good deliveries for sixes and this was a very, very poor delivery onto his pads and flicked it. Gurtel Mama, I love you. That's written on the chart paper. We all love him. Goes after it. Very, very high. Runs behind and easily held. Nepal losing their first wicket in Kushal Burtel. And Nepal lost their first wicket. The length was there to play this shot. Very, very high, running behind. The crowd silenced. And Nepal, after restric restricting Netherlands for 120, they can look to finish this quickly. Oh, ball him! Was a slow delivery, went for that expanded drive. The start that the Dutch team wanted, they have got that start. It's Vivian Kingma, two wickets in and over, dismissing two of the openers. For Netherlands, they are in dire need of a wicket. A loser walling outside the leg stump. Thank you very much, says Rohit Podel. And guess what? Gary Kirsten was doing the fielding <laughs> outside that boundary line. There is our production director, Yopesh Pradhan, has done a fine job. Nepalese batters because the batting lineup is really deep. If they can apply pressure to Bender Merv earlier in the innings, as I was just telling. A photographic shot, the ball is sailed over the infield, clears the boundary comfortably into the crowds by Gulchinza. A very, very right tactic to do. Well, that's a maximum result with the brute force and calculated risk. Look at it, Gulchan just lock sweep the ball over the mid wicket region, sending it soaring into the crowd. That's a colossal six kid, and look at that shot. Just coming down the track to the pitch of the ball. He gets a proper grip of the pitch going forward to that follow through after delivering the ball. This time just played softly. But offside reason in the back foot. This is what they, they are doing at the moment. They are not. So 52 runs partnership of 43 deliveries between Rohit Kumar, Paudel and Gulchanja. Headache for... Netherlands Bender Merv continuing with his second, gone for five, gone for nine in his very first Bender over. A easily played shot, misfield, the last thing that Netherlands would want. It looks like from the body language of the players, they have given up on the game. It's been easy pickings. The misfield from Levitt, would you believe it? A wicket is what Netherlands need. Cut. In the gap. Plenty of work to do there for Levitt and this time he compensates for that. They only have 32 runs to defend and Nepal looks well on top of them. Up and over. Levitt can do nothing at this occasion. And another boundary for Nepal, this time off the bat of Rohit Podil. The luck is going into their favour as well. Look at that slap shot, just clears the infield, races towards the boundary. Come to this ground and enjoy your team play. Oh, that's, that's been pulled. One bounce and over the rope. Struggled in all departments today. Couldn't build up those important partnerships. Levit after Leviton. So 14 runs required. Nepal three hits away from another victory. Consecutive victories. And he had to settle for singles. So just 13 runs needed. Just formality in this game. Rohit cuts, the ball's racing towards the boundary, Filter couldn't stop it, four runs, things are happening, the batting looks fairly easy with the way these two batters are batting, a bit on a tat, shorter side, cuts it really well between those two fielders and the fielders in the boundary line could just watch it sail over the boundary for four. And this is a massive partnership for Nepal. Oh, ball him. He was looking to play that short, premeditated. Aryan Dutt realized and kept the ball really straight. 
Gulshinza again trying to improvise on his shot, missed it completely, hit the leg stump, the wicket perishes, Aaron Dutt is being rewarded for very well bowled spell, a huge roar from the crowd, applauding the great effort from Gulshinza, goes for 38. They know that Nepal only one hit away, only four runs required and they'll also be excited for Rohit Paudil. The captain was batting at 46 now. Will he finish this off in style? What a catch! Brilliantly held by Cruz. And again against the run of play, Rohit Paudil has been dismissed for 46. The crowd stunned. Of course was magnificent. Look at that! Jumping, diving, stretching the arm, getting that ball. Rohit Podel was just trying to chip that ball. Cross the infield, goes for 46. Nepal just four runs away from their victory. Just one run shy of their second victory in the tournament. Has been a wonderful performance from the home side. Taps it down for a single. That's a victory for Nepal. Direct hit. Would have made the difference probably but not to be and Nepal completing this victory against a strong Netherlands side in style. Nepal have gone on to win this match by six wickets. Clapping and cheering for Team Nepal as you can see cameras are out witnessing and recording capturing the moment. Nepal finally being able to defeat the mighty Netherlands collect those two important points they will be sitting comfortably and enjoying the game tomorrow well done team nepal